2023 Ford Transit Passenger Van Review. What's new? New camera-based review mirror option. Minor changes to standard and available equipment. Part of the first transit generation introduced for 2015. Spacious, customizable and designed for maximum passenger capacity, the 2023 Ford Transit is quite simply a really big van. The Transit Passenger van has several roof heights and lengths to choose from, so there will likely be one that fits your needs. It's also available with two different V6 powertrain should you need a large payload capacity or want to tow a trailer behind your van. Unlike some of its rivals, the Transit is also available with all-wheel drive to meet all weather needs too. For 2023, the Transit carries over mostly unchanged. That isn't necessarily a bad thing since the Transit offers a strong set of standard safety features including forward collision warning, lane departure warning, driver attention alerts, and a new camera-based rearview mirror that helps improve visibility. Options like smartphone integration, navigation, parking sensors, and cruise control are all worth a look to. For such a large van, the Transit Passenger Van is relatively easy to drive. The optional turbocharged V6 is our favorite of the two engines, even though it does have middling real-world fuel economy. The 10-speed automatic it's paired with has smooth upshifts and doesn't hunt much for gears on a grade. Handling is impressive for a vehicle of this size too, so if you're transporting clients, say, to and from a party in the mountains, it doesn't feel like a penalty box. One of the most well-rounded and easy-to-drive vans on the market, the Ford Transit Passenger Van is a favorite of ours. How does the Transit Passenger Van drive? The turbocharged 3.5-liter V6 gives the Transit plenty of character. Acceleration is easy and smooth around town thanks to the 10-speed automatic transmission, and when you need to climb a mountain or speed away from the light, the EcoBoost engine has you covered. At our test track, the Transit sprinted from 0 to 60 in pH in 8.7 seconds. That's really moving for a vehicle this large and heavy. Typical braking feels easy and responsive, but the Transit took a bit longer to make panic stops than other vans we've tested in this class. The Transit steering gives you a decent feel for the road and easily returns to center after turning. Handling is a bit of a shocker since this giant van is actually pretty fun to drive, even if you haven't converted it into a party bus. How comfortable is the Transit passenger van? The Transit offers a surprisingly good ride, even in the heavy-duty 14-passenger configuration. Most big bumps are soaked up, and only the sharpest of impacts make their way into the cabin. Road and wind noise is pretty noticeable due to the big profile but that's to be expected. Even so, it's not as loud as some competitors. The driver's seat, while a bit awkwardly positioned, is supportive and comfortable on long trips. The rear seats are a bit flatter and less comfortable, but they are totally acceptable for a heavy-duty van. The climate control system keeps the cavernous cabin cool on hot days, and optional heated front seats warm up nicely on colder days. How's the interior? Climbing into and out of a large van like the Transit will always be a bit difficult, but the wide opening front and side doors make it easier. Once you're inside, the driver controls are well laid out, with large knobs for the climate control and intuitive buttons on the dashboard and steering wheel. And unless you're loading in 14 NFL linebackers, the cabin should be roomy enough for almost any group. The driving position is a low point for the Transit, offering a sort of top-down view of the dash, with a long reach to the steering wheel for taller drivers. Forward visibility is excellent, but a big pillar behind the driver obscures the immediate view to the side. The blind spot warning system helps a great deal here. A high-mounted wide-angle rear-view camera and big side mirrors also help in getting this big van into relatively tight spaces. How's the tech? Ford's optional sync infotainment system is a must-have in the Transit. It has a clear 8-inch display for the navigation screen, easy-to-use voice controls, 
and smartphone integration for both Apple and Android devices. The 8-speaker stereo that comes with the sync system isn't as impressive, but it gets the job done. 6 USB ports and 2 12-volt outlets should keep most of your devices charged too. A number of driver aids are available on the transit. Blind spot warning and rear cross traffic warning systems come standard. Adaptive cruise control is optional, as is a split view front camera. Both performed adequately during our test. How's the storage? The massive dimensions of the high roof, long wheelbase transit allow for a great deal of interior storage. Under the seats, there's plenty of room for luggage and small items can be stored in a number of front cubbies. The cup holders are large, deep, and numerous, lining the cabin for all those late-night 14-person fast food runs. As many as 11 car seats can be loaded in, though attaching them to the lower tethers might be a bit time-consuming. Hauling capabilities with the transit are right near the top of the class, and depending on equipment, the Transit has a maximum payload capacity of 4,230 pounds. Max towing is behind class leaders by a few hundred pounds, but its max rating of 4,300 pounds is respectable. How's the fuel economy? What the Transit gains in performance with the turbocharged 3.5 liter V6 it loses in fuel economy. Based on its heavy duty status, the transit isn't rated for fuel economy by the EPA, but during our test we weren't able to crest 13 mpg, even on long highway stretches. Is the transit passenger then a good value? The transit is priced competitively, offering similar equipment as rivals, and many of the transit's options are standalone, so you can pick and choose what you need. Our dual rear wheel heavy duty test bin came with options including adaptive cruise control and Ford's excellent sync infotainment system. The final price was close to $60,000. A similarly equipped Sprinter will run you about the same price but doesn't offer some of Ford's safety aids. A 3 year slash 36,000 mile bumper to bumper warranty a 5-year-slash-60,000-mile powertrain warranty and roadside assistance coverage for 5-years-slash-60,000-miles are standard. It's worth noting that paint repair damage from airborne metals is also covered for the first year, up to 12,000 miles. When you consider the transit's utility capabilities, it's impressive how well it behaves on curvy roads. The power is fun, and the handling is good enough to stop you from being the guy who's holding up the line when you're going up a mountain road. The Transit is a workhorse, but its styling isn't overly boring or boxy. By choosing the Excel trim level, you maximize your ability to configure the Transit passenger van to specific preferences. But if you want a nicer look inside and out, or access to a handful of exclusive features, we recommend the XLT trim level. The 2023 Ford Transit passenger van is a full-size van available in a range of configurations and with up to 15 passenger seating. Transits come with a standard or long wheelbase, a regular long or extended body style, and a low, medium, or high roof style. Choose the base Transit 150 for the standard payload rating or the Transit 350 or 350 HD with dual rear wheels if you need more capacity. Pros. Many configurations are available. Strong acceleration from turbocharged V6 engine. Pleasant road manners for a van. Infotainment system is easy to use. Cons. A bit less towing capability than some rival vans. Turbocharged V6 is thirsty.